Asking people to stop treating animals badly because animals have the capacity to suffer is a fallacious argument. The capacity to suffer is an evolutionary advantage selected by nature, so animals would avoid harms to themselves. To say they don't want to suffer, therefore we shall not cause suffering to them, is therefore deriving moral from nature, or an is versus all two fallacy. The capacity to sense suffering is also nature we have. We have it presumably because it's part of the empathy that made us understand feelings in others to be more socially capable, that made us stuck together, fought off predators, and made more babies. Either way, empathic feelings alone without context cannot justify moral actions because, again, we are intelligence. We may choose to not act like an ape now. So when you put up animal suffering to garner sympathy like that game, can your pet you are abusing the nature inside all of us, or at least in people who aren't psychopaths, uh, much like a terrible version of tickling someone until they abide. And when combining that with justifying the empathy within all of us with ethics or morality to fill people with a sense of righteousness and moral superiority, to sustain your self-propagating propaganda, pro propagate. Do that? Okay, anyway, uh, you are effectively feeling great while making others to feel terrible. What's even more terrible is your irrational assault on our conscience has created a strong irrational sentiment against everything you have to say, including the valid parts, such as producing meat use a lot of natural resources and we can keep up while being sustainable, and there are health and safety concerns with our current practice of meat farming. But look, you cannot claim you want to save the planet, or in reality you just, you're just judging things based on whether they comply with your moral standard. You're reversing the cause and consequence here. Your vegetarianism just happens to have some ideas that helps saving the planet. And there are plenty of other ideas that does help saving the planet, but you would find objectionable. For example, there are technologies that farm meat more efficiently and uh, eat animals that use less resources to produce meat, more chicken, less beef. And those would be much easier to do. And those are the things I'm not saying you should, but I would advocate for. The bottom line I can accept is, if people don't share your conviction, you shouldn't manipulate them into doing it by making them feel guilty. You should lay out the benefit and harm and try to argue with reason. And know that if you judge people based on moral grounds, which you totally can do, people can as well judge you back, which I haven't. I merely stated that you are feeling great while making others to feel terrible. But I hope you can see how easily that is. That can be turned into a moral judgment if you aren't seeing it as a moral judgment already. Uh, now there's this one last question. If capacity to suffer does not justify humane treatment, what does? Well, I think a right always comes with responsibilities. Let's say I murder someone. My dad would have no legal responsibilities because I'm an adult. Not if I'm a child, but neither am I a property when I was a child. It just some of the rights and responsibilities goes away altogether since children are less capable of handling themselves. But other animals can be property since they aren't humanly capable. If they can, for example, intelligent aliens, we should welcome them into our society and acknowledge them the rights because it will be to our benefit to have them working among us. I guess that was a touchy subject. I feel this time, even if I don't say it, someone is gonna leave a comment. And this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.